Yeah, so my full name is Aidan O'Neill. Um, my background is in mechanical engineering. Um, my primary degree was from University of Limerick um, and I graduated in 2007. Then I worked for a company called Element 6 for five years in the area of um, super hard cutting tool materials. Then I went back and did a master's degree in materials science uh in 2013 and when i finished that then i joined castellan in 2014 and i've been working as a i suppose powder development engineer ever since well i suppose the big one over the last year or two has been we're working on a new range of iron-based alloys for the automotive industry um and specifically for um pressing tools for, for which are used for forming of automotive of, of automotive parts. Um, so I suppose there was traditionally most of our powder alloys would be nickel based. Um, so we wanted to come up with uh, a, a range of iron based alloys. And I suppose our, our product management team identified a demand in the market um, within the automotive industry so we wanted to um i suppose come up with a range that would service that that market um so we've been working on it almost two years we've looked at probably 10 different alloy compositions and we've narrowed it down now to, to four different compositions um i suppose it was a challenge for us in that they were different types of alloys so in terms of um how we produce them how we atomize them how we test them all of that would have been i suppose new for us so we had to um learn as we went along and and optimize and figure out um what what the best compositions were and the best way to produce them um so we're at a point now where we have we have four new products um, and what we're doing at the moment is we're getting everything ready to launch them in the next um, short while. Yeah, well, I, I would have I would collaborate quite a bit with um, uh, it's Dublin City University. So they have um, it's called the Advanced Processing Technology Research Center. So um, a couple of years ago, we did a, a, a two year project with them in the area of additive manufacturing um which was a government funded project um so that was i suppose a, a more formal project um and i'd have regular communication with them even at the moment on i suppose more informal kind of work that they're doing so we would supply powders for example for um phd projects or our postdoc projects um in the area of additive manufacturing and laser processing um so i suppose at the moment it's mostly informal but um i would have good collaboration and good contacts with that particular research center so um if um if and when we decide on certain projects that we want to work on that would be i suppose um suitable for for engagement with with academia i think we're well well set up to do that uh, yes, actually this year, yeah. So they, they asked if I would present, um, I suppose, present what we do in Castellan in terms of our, our um, uh, metals production. So I, I presented at one of their research conferences during the summer, just talking about um, powders and how we produce powders, what the compositions of them are, um, and I suppose some of the technical background behind what we do. Um, so yeah, that was... That was a, a great opportunity, I suppose, for us to showcase ourselves and, and show what we do. So I suppose, I mean, they're all, they're high strength, high toughness alloys, which would be what's required for, for that particular application. Um, they allow the customer to repair and to maintain components rather than having to produce a component from, from the beginning again. Um, so, and, and there's, I suppose there's an environmental benefit to that as well in that our products um, facilitate repair and maintenance um, and um, another thing is we have we have four different alloys 
which get, are, are in different hardness ranges ranges um so there's a wide there's a wide amount of options available for a customer um which should help meet their specific specific needs well i, I suppose it's the application really in that um these companies have moved more towards using things like PTA and laser for for repairing and maintenance um, of of these types of components which are used in the automotive industry. Um, we do have other projects where we're looking at replacing uh, in nickel based alloys, replacing some of the nickel with some more elements that would be more environmentally friendly. Um, so that's a project that we have in the pipeline for next year. Um, and I suppose the environmental impact of that sort of project would be, um, would, would be higher, I guess. There's, uh, there's one we're working on. We have been working on it a bit for the last couple of years. Um, it's more, I suppose, a continuous improvement in terms of the, um, in enhancing the quality of our powders. So, um, we're looking at, for example, the shape of the powder, So generally gas atomized metal powders would be quite spherical, but they would always have some sort of irregular shapes. Um, and that can affect the appearance, for example, if a customer looks at the looks at the powder, um, if, even if they just pour it out on the page and takes a look, there can be some sort of shiny particles in it. Um, and also the flow properties. Um, so, I mean, our powders would be well known for having very good shape, um, but like any gas atomized powder, there are some irregular shapes in there. So what we're looking to do is study our process and see what it is about the process that causes these irregular shapes to occur and then see what we need to do to um, remove them and, 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 and I suppose enhance the flow properties and enhance the, the, the appearance of the powder, which I suppose would be another differentiator for us. Um, based on past studies we've done with, with various um, competitors, our powder shape stacks up really, really well uh, in, in terms of it, the quality is very good, but we just want to, I suppose, enhance that a little bit further. Uh, and and um, um, yeah, um, give us another point of, of, of differenti differentiation that, that sets us apart from, from competitors.